alternative Christmas message. The actress Bridget Bardo was one of the greatest screen icons of the post-war European cinema and dominated French films for a generation. But she renounced the life of a superstar in 1976 and appalled by the annual massacre of baby seals, she decided to dedicate her life to fighting animal suffering. She auctioned off most of her property and created the Bridget Bardo Foundation in Paris to work for animal causes in France and across the world. In Britain, she has used her foundation to help fight against the Dangerous Dogs Act, championing the cause of the dog Dempsey, who was condemned to death after her muzzle was briefly removed in a public place. Bridget Bardo has also opposed the transportation of live animals from Britain to France, and in February attended the funeral of Jill Phipps, who was killed by a lorry whilst protesting against the export of veal calves. I'm so happy to speak to you on this Christmas day. The end of the year is a period of hope and rebirth. That is why I am sincerely delighted to be able to talk for all those who do not have the power of speech. Those animals to whom I have dedicated my life, my energy, my fame and my fortune. I think of all those wonderful British people who are trying to stop shameful death transports of animals. I think especially to the woman who sacrificed her life for this chrysad, Jill Phipps my fighting sister, to whom all my thoughts go to this Christmas. My wishes as I deliver this Christmas message to the English people whom I love very much for its commitments towards animals, go to Dempsey and to the other dogs standing on death row under the enforcement of the Dangerous Dogs Act. Dempsey was free on November 23rd after a three-year struggle for her honor and animal protectors. I offered them, say, a shelter in France as it seems she is unlawful in the United Kingdom, but I must say that the best Christmas gift the authorities of your country could have sent me would have been to authorize Dempsey and her owner to reunion. At last, justice has prevailed for Dempsey as it had last year for Saba. But let us not forget that 450 dogs are still in detention in these horrific secret kennels and that we must continue our fight for them.
The British people have always been in love with animals. And this is why I always was in love with them. But I expect more than the freedom of them say, which is already a breakthrough. I expect your parliament to amend the Dangerous Dogs Act and hello pet lovers to have dogs. I expect and ask for Mrs. Faneron to keep her dog, them say, for whom she fought so hard. And my message for 1996 is a hope for justice in this country for dogs who share our everyday life with so much love and tenderness. think also of all those puppies and kittens given as gifts at Christmas, sold at any price by anybody to anybody and then abandoned when they grow up. No victory is final. Even the baby seal hunt started again this year in Norway and in Canada. But we were successful in limiting it somewhat after my exhausting trip to the ice flows in 1977 and my subsequent years of campaigning against it. Some women still think of fur as a sign of wealth when it is a cemetery which they wear on their back. We are also fighting for the preservation of sea mammals, for the outlawing of leg traps, and we campaign against bullfighting. We are fighting to protect the reindeer of Siberia, killed by cruel trapping. I ask all of you listening to me to help me in my fight to respect and protect animals by refusing food which involves suffering, by boycotting certain products like fur, by making people around you aware of animal suffering. Do not accept what is unacceptable. Now, I wish you a sweet and merry Christmas without turkeys and without foie gras.